What's up, YouTube? KM888 here with a third uh, Aura's Wi Fi battle from the tournament I'm in. Uh, fourth Aura's Wi Fi battle already in total, and I'm just loving it. Uh, my opponent this time is Emin Sem, uh, aka Sem Adamir. Uh, he's a really cool guy, a really good battler, and you're gonna see that in this uh, video. Um, I uploaded this because it was awesome, like, really, and it showed some potential for some Pokémon, so yeah, I was really happy with that. Um, as well for the team preview now, uh, I'm using the same team, uh, if you haven't seen those battle, I'll just repeat it for a sec. Uh, Scarf Landorus, my special defensive Heatran, physical defensive Rotom, uh, support Latias, Healing Wish, thun Thunder Wave, stuff like that. Um, my Mega Beedrill and Greninja. Now for my opponent's team, it's actually looking a bit uh, offensive to me. Uh, he has the Suicune, which probably is the Crocune set, so I have to watch out for it. Uh, the Dragonite, which could set up on my face, uh, so I have to definitely check that. Uh, Meta Mega Metagross, which I haven't seen in battle yet, so it's definitely gonna be intriguing to see. And also a Landorus. Uh, his, his walls are probably the Heatran and the Celebi Suicune core, like uh, Water, Fire, Grass, and that actually looks pretty threatening, so I have to try and break it, and we're gonna see how it goes in this battle. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna predict him to lead off with the Landorus, because uh, Land Scarfed Landorus is a good lead in general. Uh, I've seen that in a couple of battles right now already in Auras, so I'm definitely presuming it's gonna be the Landorus. And that's actually what's gonna happen. Uh, it's a double Landorus showdown. Um, my opponent doesn't have a Greninja, so right here I'm perfectly fine by losing my item if he goes for the knockoff. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to go for my own knockoff. Uh, just in case he wants to stay in and try and U-turn on me, because the uh, knocking off the choice card from the Landorus is going to be really important in the game. Now, uh, instead of just going for the U-turn, he flat out switches into the Suicune, probably not trying to risk the speed tie and me going for a knockoff or something. Um, so it's actually really good that I knocked off the leftovers from the Suicune turn 1, and that's just awesome. And as you can see, he just straight up tries to set up in my face, and I'm like, whoa, bro, what you doing? <laughs> you don't do that first turn. So um, I'm gonna go and Volt Switch out immediately, because I really don't like this, and as you can see, that was pathetic damage. Uh, even though that was pathetic damage, this thing is probably still uh, max HP, max defense, so I... Oh my god, and it just got up a second one, and this is just bad. Now, um, right here, I know I'm faster than Suicune, so I am just gonna go uh, Mega Evolve and go for the U-turn, uh, predicting him to go for the rest right here, because um, Mega Beedrill does a lot of damage, and just me going for the rest is actually pretty good, uh, him going for the rest is pretty good, because it allows me to... Um, to phase him out with my Heatran, but uh, instead of going for that rest, he's actually gonna go and go on the offensive and go for the Scald, and this is actually like, wow, and it does so much damage, and right here I'm thinking, he has two options, either he kills my Heatran and I can set up my Stealth Rocks, um, no, I'm just slower, so either he kills my Heatran and I can go into Beedrill and kill the Suicune, or he goes asleep and I can set up my uh, Stealth Rocks for free. So uh, I'm gonna go for the Stealth Rocks and right here I am gonna risk the Biscuit. Um, it is pretty dangerous because if, if he gets the 1 in 3 chance for the Scald, my Heatran is dead and I have nothing to phase this thing out and then I'm probably gonna lose. Uh, then I have to play around it really really good and that's definitely not awesome to do. Uh, but he gets the rest and I can go for the roar and roar out the Suicune, so this is pretty fine for me. Uh, it's definitely more of a, uh, offensive momentum for me right now, especially because it goes out into the Celebi and Celebi can't do Jack Squad 2 Heatran unless it's carrying Earth Power. So yeah, um, I have to watch out for Earth Power maybe, but it's it seems to be a defensive sweet, uh, Celebi, so I'm doubting it has the Earth Power. Uh, he actually just goes out straight into his Suicune again, like, not fearing anything at all. Uh, I believe I went to my Latias, uh, just because Latias is a perfect count for that Celebi. And here we are in a matchup, Latias against uh, Suicune, so he doesn't want to risk a possible trick right here uh, for a Choice Carve and Suicune, I think. 
uh, because he also flat out switches and I don't see a reason uh, why to do that on Aladias uh, actually. And he goes into his Heatran right here. Now uh, I went into my Rotom just to get off uh, Volt Switch because he didn't have a Call Mind up and if he didn't got it with a Sleep Talk that would have done some good damage with my Volt Switch. Um, however he went into Heatran and I just go for the Hydro Pump here, predicting him to want to stay in to get up his rocks and um, and predict a Volt Switch or something, but he does go for the rocks, I stayed in, I got it right, Hydro Pump does a good amount of damage thanks to a crit, um, I doubt a crit mattered in the long run, but yeah. Um, I do think I predict him to switch right here, so I do go for the Volt Switch, also because the Volt Switch would probably kill from that range, uh, and he does switch out into his Celebi, I went for the Volt Switch, it is some great momentum for me, so I can just go into my Landorus I believe, uh, because, oh, my B drill, yeah, uh, just to get some up, uh, some more momentum with the U-turn. Um, Lenders would have been an option as well, probably the better one even, because uh, it is Scarfed, so a U-turn from that would have been better, plus I wouldn't have taken the damage with my B drill. That uh, might have been a bad play of my behalf, but it doesn't really matter, he just goes out into his U-turn again uh, as Death Father. Uh, this is actually good that I got a crit on him because the volt turning combo stops right here and he can't uh, and now he can just like switch in accordingly to my switch in so that was probably better for him because I don't get as much momentum anymore. Uh, now I do go into my Rotom uh, because the only thing on his team that doesn't look threatening to me is his um, is his Celebi and I want to try and bait that out but he goes for the Landorus T and um, I'm thinking well if he goes for the knockoff right here my Rotom will lose his item and I don't really like that um, but I don't want to switch in my own Landorus just because I don't want to lose uh, let it lose its item so uh, yeah it was kind of weird prediction on my part but I just went for the Will-O-Wisp um, because my Rotom is the only thing that can probably take anything from that Landorus uh, anyway, I burn the Celebi, uh, not not too, uh, too great of an achievement, because Celebi has natural cure, but if he does stay in, it's gonna rack up some damage, and that's at least good, so yeah. Uh, I do predict uh, the grass move right here, so I go into my Larias, and uh, as you can see, uh, I get another stealth rock damage, he actually goes for the Perish Song, and um, at this point, Perish Song, I don't really care, um, I do believe I predict him to switch right here, because what can Celebi really do to Ladias? Uh, pretty much nothing. Uh, so I am, I am gonna go for the T-Wave here, I think. Uh, let's see. He switches out, I believe, into his, m into his Metagross, yeah. And I go for the Defog? Do I go for the Defog? Yeah, I go for the defog because these rocks are annoying me. And um, at this point, I haven't gotten up my rocks yet. So, uh, or I have, like, oh, man, this battle has been three days ago, I think. Already forgetting stuff. Um, yeah, bad mind, I guess. Uh, anyways, Ladias is fast in a regular Metagross, so I am gonna go for the Thunder Wave right here to cripple that thing. Uh, Mega Metagross, definitely a threat in my, in my opinion. Uh, but with a Thunder Wave... Not so much anymore. Um, if it gets through the paralysis, so be it. If it doesn't, it's awesome. But the fact that I made it pretty slow is probably the most important thing right here. So uh, at this point, the Metagross is in the house. Uh, Perish counter goes to one and I don't want to stay in. So I am just going to switch out into my Rotom. The most physical defensive thing on my team, uh, bar maybe the Landorus because of the Intimidate. Um, he actually makes a sw double switch into Suicune and this is looking fine for me because uh, I can go for the Volt Switch without him having done a thing and as you can see the Volt Switch from um, neutral damage uh, doesn't come close to even 2 hit KOing. So uh, that's pretty bad for me. Um, he goes in uh, for the Sleep Talk right now of course. Uh, because the Rotom and Suicune stayed in on the same turn and he does get the 1 in 3 chance for the Scald and I'm so hard hoping please don't kill the Beedrill and please don't burn but he gets the burn so uh, Beedrill isn't gonna do a thing anymore in this battle unless I can get off a healing wish to my Beedrill if I want to 
Um, looking at Steam, however, the Heatron is already gone, the Celebi doesn't pose that much problems. Uh, everything else he has, like the Suicune, Dragonite, Metagross and Landorus, I don't think my Beedrill is gonna do that much, so I don't really mind it dying this time. Uh, he, however, wakes up, goes for another rest. This Suicune is just a pain in my butt. The only good thing, I guess, is that it hasn't gotten up any Calm Minds at all. So that's really nice. And at this point, I'm gonna Volt Switch out again, does some 40-45% damage. And I'm gonna go into my Greninja because it's the thing on my team that hits the hardest on a special side. Uh, I was thinking like taking advantage of the fact that he hasn't gotten any Call Mines up yet. Uh, he goes for the Sleep Talk, gets another Skull. If he would have gotten the Call Mind here, that would have been really bad for me. Um, however, he doesn't get it. I'm gonna go for the Dark Pulse, it's the hardest thing I have on this thing to hit the Suicune. And I get a crit, and that's awesome! And I get a flinch, and that's awesome! Um, I don't think it matters. Um, Dark Pulse would have been a 2 hit KO from that range. Uh, the only thing where it would have mattered maybe if, is if I didn't get a crit. Uh, then at that point... Uh, he got a call mind up and then woke up and went for rest, so yeah. Um, at this point the Metagross comes out. Uh, I'm not gonna stay in because uh, I'm, I'm afraid of the bullet punch really. Uh, and I'm gonna go into my Rotom and as you can see that did so much damage and wow, that for the Zen Hell was really cool. Um, I'm not gonna take another one, um, I, I just go for the Resto Chesto right here, awesome combination, he gets off another Zen Headbutt, so no Paralyze, uh, it's really good for him, and he does about 45% to me, so that's that's pretty nice, um, I'm just gonna go for the Volt Switch, I am gonna take this Metagross out, and that's exactly what I wanted, so that's pretty good. Uh, so the Heatron is down already and the Metagross is down at this point. Suicune is at really low health, so I'm definitely hoping I won't switch in my Heatron uh, on his Suicune. Because if that happens, he can just go for the rest because my Heatron is slower. Uh, I really have to watch out for that. Now, um, the switch-ins right here are Greninja and he does switch in his Landorus on it. Uh, just because it's faster with the U-turn and the Choice Scarf. Um, I'm gonna go into my Landorus this time because my Beedrill is really low on health and I want to keep it as Dead Father. I know he wants to go for the U-turn, it's the most obvious play. If he went for the knockoff and I stayed in, my Greninja would have raped his Landorus. Uh, he can't do that, so uh, he's gonna U-turn out. Uh, good play on his part because he can switch in the Dragonite and since there aren't any Stealth Rocks up, uh, his Dragonite is gonna be in multi-scale and I don't think I can kill it with a stone edge right here. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go for the U-turn, take a little bit of chip damage and I'm gonna go into my uh, Rotom. Um, but I die, so at that point in the battle I was like, wait, this thing must be choice banned because I'm pretty sure from that amount of HP I can take a Dragon Claw from a DD set. And um, I haven't done the, cal the Calc yet, but I'm pretty sure I have 252 in uh, HP and in uh, Defense and in defense also really a lot like 230 or something so I'm pretty sure my Rotom would have taken one but um, So yeah, the fact that he's choice car uh, choice bandit is actually really good because I can go into my Heatron Try and lure out the Suicune right there and um, I'm gonna double switch into my Landorus, but he goes into Celebi instead and that works out pretty fine for me because I can just go for the U-turn or the knockoff uh, taking the Celebi out uh, he is, however, gonna switch in his Suicune as Dead Father right here. Good play on his part, uh, the Suicune has done its job, uh, definitely. Uh, although it did get a little bit of Hexed, but... Hey, if you wanna set up all the time, Hex is gonna happen eventually, I think, so yeah. Um, he makes a questionable play here and he goes into his Landorus, uh, allowing me to knock off his Choice Scarf and... Truth be told, I don't care about my Choice Scarf. Um, I'm faster than his entire team with my Greninja anyways. And without his Choice Scarf, I can actually uh, go for some kills and that's pretty good. Now, uh, at this point, he does get off more damage with the knockoffs because I'm intimidated and my Stone Edges don't do that much. Um, though I miss one, so I can't really kill him. Uh, but it does, however, give me a free switch into my uh, Greninja. And at this point, he has a Dragonite, he has a Landorus, and he has a Celebi. So, 
I don't care. I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam. Uh, it hits all three of his guys uh, for uh, super effective damage and it's gonna kill any one of the three. So uh, Greninja took a kill already. Uh, I'm, I'm at 50% health, about, uh, about 50%. And he does switch in his Dragonite. Uh, I'm pretty sure it shows Bandit. It's probably gonna go for the extreme speed right here. So I'm actually gonna sacrifice my B drill uh, to the extreme speed because I don't want to die with my uh, with my Greninja. It is really important. So yeah. Um, however, he does switch in his Landorus right here. Um, a nice double switch on my opponent's part because uh, if he had stayed in and he would have taken out my B drill with the extreme speed, I would have had a free switch into my Heatron or my Ladias and got another free kill, but uh, instead he can kill me with the Landorus, go into his Dragonite again and basically force me not to go into my Greninja because an extreme speed will definitely kill me. So I have to go either into Heatron and die immediately to, uh, to an Earthquake uh, if he has it, which he probably does. Or I can go into my Larias and make a choice between Healing Wish or Dragon Pulse. Now, um, I know he's Choice Bandit, so he clearly doesn't have Weakness Policy. And because of that, I'm actually gonna decide to sacrifice my Larias to a Dragon Claw, just so I can get off a massive hit with Dragon Pulse. And this, what this actually does... Um, is pretty perfect because I can just at this point uh, switch into my Greninja, click Ice Beam once more and make sure I can kill his Landorus. And at this point the Dragonite is at so low health that even a Lava Plume from my Heatron can kill it. So that is really good because at this point he's definitely gonna go for the extreme speed and I can just sacrifice my Greninja to it and then my Heatron will be able to kill the Dragonite. So yeah, uh, it was a really good game, Sim. Um, I definitely hope for a rematch someday. Uh, it was pretty nice. Maybe with some other themes and then I can record it, record it again. So yeah, really thank you for the battle. It was awesome. Um, as you see, the Extreme Speed isn't gonna take out my Heatron by, by a long shot. Uh, even a crit wouldn't have done it. And my Lava Plume is gonna take him out. So yeah, uh, pretty nice. Uh, anyways, again, uh, GG Sam, pretty awesome. Uh, that was the bell, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, uh, subscribe to my channel. You know the deal. Uh, everything you do actually uh, allows me to grow, my, to let my channel grow. And the more people I make happy, the more the more uh, videos I actually want to make. Because uh, the more audience, the the, the more fun I uh, it is for me. So yeah, um, definitely like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll post some more videos I guess. Um, also check out the other Auras battles and maybe even some XY battles because uh, they are pretty awesome and yeah what else is there to say like really. Uh, anyway guys see ya and uh, till the next battle. Ciao!